Hi, hello, my name is Jade and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make stuffed bell peppers for dinner and I decided to bring you guys along. These stuffed bell peppers are a lot different than any stuffed bell peppers that I've had, but they're good, so don't knock it before you try it. Peppers, I only have one because I made my husband's earlier today before he went to work, and cheese. So I'm just making one for myself for dinner. Don't mind my no makeup and messy hair. I just worked out and I'm a little tired, so I didn't want to do my makeup or anything. I have my water. This is my third bottle of the day. I need to get four done before midnight and it's eight o'clock. So I better hurry. And my coffee. Let's get started. Okay. So first we need to cut the top off. These are small. Does that, doesn't that look like a pumpkin? This makes me really want it to be fall. So first you cut the top off and then you get the seeds out. So I'm gonna cut the top off. I don't think I can show a knife on YouTube because they're gonna get mad. So I'm not gonna show you me cutting it, but I'll show you how I get the core thing out. I don't know if this is the right way to do it. There's probably an easier way. This is what I do. I feel like I'm cutting the top of a pumpkin off. Okay, so there, I got the top off and now I'm just gonna pull that thing out. See, it's got most of the seeds, but then I just flip it over and like tap it out. I don't, I don't wanna show you my trash, but this normally gets most of the seeds out, if not all. There's a little bit stuck, so I'm just going to run my finger around the top. You can see my trash, I'm sorry. Okay, that's as clear as I can get it this way. See, it's pretty decent other than right there, but I'm gonna have to probably cut that out when um, I cut it now. Now that you have most of the insides out, at least like core, you're gonna get a cutting board. So then I just cut it in half. And then see, I have two halves. This side's a little thinner. Now these are weird stuffed peppers. I won't lie about that because they don't have like the normal ground beef in it. Like most people like ground beef and other things. This one has tuna in it and it's weird. Like it's not a bad weird, it's a really good weird. I really like it actually. Like at first when we first found the recipe, to be honest, I don't remember where I found the recipe at. I found it online and I thought it was kind of gross. I was like, why would you put tuna in a pepper? But my husband and I tried it and it's been a go-to. We made it like one time and decided that we really enjoyed it, that it tasted really good. It's like, it's different. I'm going to make my tuna. Again, this is really weird. I know most people, or I don't want to say most people, but a lot of people don't like tuna. I love tuna. This is like one of our go-to easy dinners because it takes like not very long to like put together. I'm gonna make one because they're a decent size. When it comes to making your tuna, you make it however you would like your tuna. Like I know that I grew up with mayo and mustard in my tuna. So that's what I do. Okay, so I preheated my oven to 350. Spray my pan with Pam so that it doesn't stick. Pan is sprayed. Sometimes I'll put like pickle juice in my tuna fish. Only sometimes, not all the time. And then sometimes I'll put um, chunks of pickle in the peppers. But because the peppers are so small this time, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Is that weird putting pickles in your tuna fish? I grew up putting uh, pickles on my tuna fish sandwich when I had tuna fish sandwiches. So I think that that's why I don't find it weird. Okay. I just take real mayo and I squirt it into the tuna. I also take a little bit of mustard. It's kind of like, I just eyeball it. I don't really measure things. If I'm gonna be completely honest when I cook, I just measure until it looks right or tastes right. I always start off with a little bit, just because I don't want to add too much. But you can make your tuna however you want, however you like it the best. Sometimes I put seasonings in it, sometimes I don't. This is kind of how I'm feeling that day. Most of the time I eat this with hot sauce, because I eat everything with hot sauce. 
but I don't have any hot sauce. I do have sriracha mayo though, and I have put that in here before and it was so good. I think that this might make more than what I need for my um, peppers. So I'll have leftover tuna for sandwiches. I love bell peppers. I could eat plain bell peppers all the time. I got the mini bell peppers from Walmart, like the little ones for like snacking on and they're definitely not as sweet as the bigger bell peppers and I'm so sad. So I was looking forward to just snacking on little bell peppers instead of having to cut big bell peppers up all the time. That didn't happen, but I'm still gonna eat my the little ones, but I might have to make like a dip or something for it. And I don't, I don't really like ranch, so I wouldn't dip it in ranch. What, does anyone know any good dips to dip your like veggies in? I'm not a huge, like I, I like queso and I like salsa, but I'm not, I haven't been very venturous and tried other dips. So I got it to like this consistency. I hope that's not gross. That's not gross. So then what I do is I grab the pepper and I fill it up. I squish it all in place. These are so small. I'm so used to like the big Costco ones. We got these ones at Walmart and they're kind of small. Normally one half of these fill me up when it's the big ones, but I'm happy that I had one pepper left so that I could have a full pepper. All right, look, that's my pepper. That's the second half, the other half's already full. I put that aside, wash my hands. Okay, now I'm gonna take some cheese and I have this type of cheese right now. And here we go. Final. Then I just sprinkle a little bit on top and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. I'll show you what it looks like before I cook it and after. I usually like a lot of cheese on it, but there's really not much pepper to hold the cheese. And I don't, I make a mess. I'm gonna have to clean. Okay. Done and done, let me wash my hands. This is what the pepper looks like before it's cooked. It's got cheese and tuna fish in it. All right, so when the oven is preheated, I will stick them in for 10 minutes. They don't take long to cook. They're just kind of melting the cheese and making it warmer, which that's why I like this meal because it's pretty fast. And it's really surprisingly filling and it tastes really good. It's like really refreshing. I will see you when they're done. All right, they're in the oven. Now we put this at 10 minutes. Where's the timer? Timer. It's really hard to look through the phone and do this. 10 minutes, start. I'll see you when they're done. Okay, they're almost done. I'm so excited. I'm not even that hungry, but I'm really excited for this stuff because it's really good. Huh? All right, I'm gonna... They look so good. Here they are. I can't bend it forward or they'll fall. Yay, here's my dinner. This is what it looks like plated. I let it cool a little bit more than I should have because I kind of forgot about it, but I'm going to eat my dinner and I'm going to enjoy it. Um, normally eat it with hot sauce, but I don't have hot sauce tonight. That's okay. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video on how I make stuffed bell peppers. And uh, I hope you guys give it a try if you want. You don't have to. It is a little weird and a little different, but it tastes really good. So I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.